That's the pushing lanes. They actually have done an insta-locked misfortune. Something really weird. I don't care about my last point. This is an insta-locked misfortune. Support MF. I oh, don't know. Yes, it is support MF. Support MF is super strong in poke. I wonder if it's AP MF. Or is it support Ash? No. You've seen so, both of them play so, in the past. So, Support seconds. MF was a huge thing before they obliterated the damage on Max E. Because that was the... It has to be Support MF. Support Ash sucks. <laughs> and Support MF is great, right? It, that surprisingly works. I wonder if he's spelt 20 seconds past Support MF. It is Support MF. Yep. Karma mid. Karma mid. This means three pushing lanes, absolute power, early game power spike. Imagine a dragon fight with MF ulti on your support and then a rumble equalizer. This is so fascinating. I can't wait to watch Gorilla support MF. I'm just still shocked by the fact that Support Misfortune is being played in the semifinals of the World Championship. I don't care if someone tells you to pick a meta game champion. When you're Gorilla and you're fighting for your tournament life here against SK Telecom T1 and you say, hey, it's time to play Support Misfortune. So there's a couple of things that speak in favor of a Misfortune. The passive works very well because obviously once you switch targets, you get added damage for a single tap. You can get that tap off by Eing first. You get the Spelty Spock right there. That's all three Spelty Spocks already, plus 24 gold. More importantly, specifically in the Zyra matchup, she spawns a lot of plants, which puts her at risk of actually getting double up by her own plants. Mm -hmm. Because very often she hides right behind them. It is minor. It's only base damage. This is a very early spike. And more importantly, once we hit oh. six, Oh, Wolf and look at this. Wow, forcing an early flash out of Wolf with the chain slows. Once you hit six, it is so easy to get blown up. It takes one arrow into a Misfortune Ultimate plus Ignite, and you're just dead. Which means they can play safe and play aggressive. Ash arrow. Big arrows land on the Wolf, and it's just going to be too much damage too fast. Teleports be damned. Who cares? A two-on-two -two kill for the Rock's bottom lane. How do you beat Zyra? Poke, you outrange it. Blast of misfortune, make it rain, arrow in her face, she can't escape. There is nothing Wolf can do. Yeah, but if, if SKT can fight back, it will mean so much for this series because this is the largest gold deficit at 20. Oh, Baker, oh, Baker with one of the worst flashes. He needs practice tool. Down he goes. That's going to be a kill for Rox Tigers. Off the arrow cooldown. Bang tagged as well. And they're going in because here's Kuro with his teleport. Spab a bit low, takes plenty of damage, but has no equalizer to cast either, and the make it rain doesn't do much. This may be the moment. They burn Faker low. He's out of summoner spells. They have Smeb here. Duke would be running in. They either need to get a pick here and multiple kills, or they need to secure the Baron because this gold lead continues to shrink. Rock's trying to go right now. And they're on top of the scuttle trap, so this information is known. SKT looking for the play. Faker coming back in, and the other four are here. Smeb is low. No ulti on him. No arrow just yet either. It's flank. Popping the ulti. 1,000 health on Baron. What's it going to be? The shutdown of the Olaf and the secure for Peanut. The re engage for Baker, he's gonna pick up one. So far, it's a four versus four. Baron buff still on rocks. Trey dodging away from the CC, but he could get Great it back. Push. He could get shut down, but he trades it back, and Prey stays alive. Duke makes the big play, shuts down the 80 carry, but he will get kicked down, and he will get picked off. Four for two, and the Baron secure for rocks. Rocks is in a really weird position right now, though. Prey and Gorilla are both shoving the top lane, so SKT know that rocks can't get the backup. This is gonna be dangerous. Pina's gonna keep running. Wolf's gonna look for the. No, oh, not gonna get the roof, but the strength of Thorns will land. The kickback doesn't mean much to blank and that should be a kill onto the rocks tigers jungler but he's just buying time yeah pushing the bottom side this is what skt is trying to punish they're Baker gonna get the inhibitor. gorilla putting down five damage auto attacks doing what he can to keep mid lane alive because top and hip has been killed and they even got the pick off on bang rocks doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now they can delay the recalls the arrow. arrow arrows look at the arrow get teleport he he gotta stop it. It. he's stopped too which means they can push it's now on wolf it's a teleport coming in for spam and curl much more can be done. Immortal win right now. Running the tank. Wolf running out of health. He's going to die off. Onto the turrets they go, but the minions are gone. And it's too much. SKT are here to defend. This is a difficult 3v2. Pushing down Duke. Down below 1,000. Oats back on towards Prey. Push back yet again. But Spets running low. But they get it. In front of the Nexus. They're trying to burn it down. Is this time going to be enough? It's not. Rocks Tigers answer back with game two. Series back and forth and back again. Rocks Tigers looked like SKT was going to be able to bring it back on them, and by pushing from the middle of the map all the way through to the Nexus, the cross map bash arrow to interrupt the teleport, the chase kills as SKT tried to fumble back for the defense of their Nexus. Unbelievable manner in which.
which rocks finish that game. The elephant in the room is the misfortune support. A lot of people now questioning whether they should play solo queue tonight, <laughs> seeing Gorilla win a game on misfortune support. Big takeaway point. It's a laning choice. It's to lane against Zyra. It's to punish Zyra's range, because of course, Make It Rain has a very long range. And the moment they hit level six, target selection was easy. The flash is down on the Zyra, just yeah. Ash Arrow the Zyra, combo in, Wombo dead. And that was just what they did. They tried to lead the game. And as the casters were hitting so often, this was definitely mid game or bust. <laughs>